Thought I'd just show you my bottom bait rig. This is the rig I've been using, well I've been using it for years, but I've been using it heavily over the last few months at Wazing. And it, it sort of depends what hook I use and what size, you know, down to what bait I've got on the end really. But with a 15mm boily, or in this case just a little barrel and a grain of maize on the end, these size 6, the uh, gripper pattern, are just absolutely perfect for it. Probably if I was going to an 18mm I'd use uh, a size 5 like, you know, something a little bit bigger. But the idea of it is always have a little bit of shrink tube kicked over at the eye, which aids turning. But better, and something that's really important, is to have trap the hair at the bend rather than have it leaving sort of opposite the point like you would with a lot of rigs. I trap the hair at the bend with a little bit of tubing. And don't worry about that angle there of the line either. If you hook a fish, then that'll always pull around anyway. So don't worry about that, it separates. But I'll show you what I mean, just how well it works. Basically, you're using the weight of the bait to help turn the hook. So it's not really a rig for balance baits, do you know what I mean? It's um, more for baits straight out of the bag, heavy baits. But you'll see what I mean. As soon as the cut tightens up to the lead, it just turns every time. It's just really, really efficient rig. And uh, like I say, I've been using that weighs in. Um, I've probably had the best winter I've ever had, to be honest with you. You know, uh, it's been a real mild one. The fish have carried on feeding throughout, and this is the rig that I've been using. And it's, it's just, I can't fault it. Now the one thing I will say about this rig is it's best to keep the hook lengths fairly short. Basically this rig depends on the fish tightening up to the lead weight for it to work well. Like I showed you earlier, as soon as you tighten up to the lead the hook will turn around and catch hold. But if you're going to make the hook lengths too long and you're giving the, the carp a chance to actually spit the bait out, you can see that the hook's going to be facing the wrong way. They'll spit it out and the hook's not, in, not facing the right direction to actually catch hold in the lip at all. So it is pretty important to keep those hook links fairly short. If you do want to use a longer hook link, maybe with a balanced bait or something, then I would always advise using more of a curve shank style pattern of hook, which is swinging freely beneath the bait, uh, and they're much more likely to catch hold on the eject. You know, if a carp sucks the bait in and spits it out, those hooks that are swinging freely, particularly the curve shank type patterns, they're much more likely to catch hold on the eject. But if the fish, if you're using a short hook link, maybe when you're fishing over a lot of bait, the fish are feeding well, and they're likely to take your bait and then moving on to the next bait, and that, therefore they're going to actually tighten up to the lead weight. In that case, I always just keep the hook link short and always fish it this way with a heavy bottom bait straight out of the bag. There you go. No matter what way the hook is facing, I can turn that hook upright like so. Actually turn it up so it looks like it's got the least chance of catching hold. But as soon as the carp pulls away, bang, it'll turn around. And that's all because of the weight of the bait and the positioning where the hair has been trapped. Absolutely mega rig. Can't fault it. And, and I'll tell you what else has been noticeable as well is the lack of losses. You know, um, I went through a period earlier on in the year where I caught, I, I landed 36 carp out of 36 takes on the bounce. Obviously I lost a couple either side of that, you know what I mean, you're always going to lose the odd one. But um, when you get a run of fish like that, you know, it really does prove the effectiveness of a rig. And although I've lost one or two since, I think if I added up my tally what I've caught since, it'd be again over 30 fish. So when you get those sort of results, it's the sign that your rig is working as, as well as it possibly could do. Give it a go, you'll love it, honestly.